God bless America. Happy Friday, everybody. I am so glad that the weekend is here, but it is a scorcher out there. I hope that you all have stayed cool so far today. The story that I've got for you, up is now down. Criminals are now victims. And this ex-congressman says he's given up on America after being sentenced for his third conviction. This guy is an ex-congressman from Chicago, and he says he plans to move to Africa after he serves his last sentence. His name is Mel Reynolds, and he's just been sentenced for failing to file tax returns on amounts exceeding $400,000. Now, as I said, this is his third conviction, and his first two involve... Let me show that paragraph to you. His first conviction was statutory rape of having sex with a 16-year-old campaign worker. Later, he was convicted of concealing debts and diverting money meant for voter registration drives into his election campaign. And Reynolds asked, how long does he have to pay for his, uh, uh, quote, pay for mistakes? Well, let's just go through those first two quote-unquote mistakes and talk about those. Now, according to ageofconsent.com, the way the Illinois law reads is that he was he would have been uh, convicted for indecent solicitation of a child, for which, according to some other news sources, he was convicted for five years, which means that at minimum he earned himself a class 3 felony. His second charge for financial fraud such as concealing debts and embezzling election money, the minimum charge or the minimum conviction for this would have been a misdemeanor according to myillinoisdefenselawyer.com. But it's likely that this was a felony, especially if he embezzled more than $100,000 in or $10,000 rather in funds. So to answer Mr. Reynolds' question of how long he has to pay for his mistakes. Let me just say that, first of all, I don't think that anybody accidentally has sex with a minor. I don't think that anybody accidentally embezzles potentially tens of hun- or hundreds of thousands of dollars in campaign funds. So, I don't think it's fair to characterize these crimes as mistakes. Second of all, Second of all is actually three points. Second of all, your criminal history, Mr. Reynolds, is a matter of public concern. People are going, different people are going to judge your record differently, but the public has a right to know whether or not you have committed crimes. Second, uh, in the se- part two of second of all, your voting rights are restored in Illinois upon completion of your sentence. So you don't have to continue to pay for your crimes in that way. You've been absolved, in as far as voting rights go, in the eyes of the state of Illinois, by serving your sentence. Third of all, if you would stop committing crimes, maybe you would stop getting punished for committing crimes. You wouldn't have to keep paying for your mistakes if you would simply stop making quote-unquote mistakes. Reynolds says, said after he was sentenced, this, to put me in jail serves what purpose? To teach me a lesson? I have been taught about this racist society, dot, 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 every day of my life. Now, Mr. Reynolds, allow me to enlighten you, because you are clearly enmeshed in the regressive politics where it comes to racism. To hold you... Mr. Reynolds, a black man, a congressman, no less, to a different standard than we hold every other race in this country, that, Mr. Reynolds, that would be racist. Also, I would like to point out to Mr. Reynolds, if he thinks holding people accountable for their crimes is racism, then Zimbabwe, a country in Africa where he allegedly plans to flee after he has served this prison sentence, Zimbabwe is also racist because apparently 
Zim Reynolds was taken into custody in Zimbabwe for overstaying his visa and was accused of violating the country's pornography laws. In Zimbabwe, it's illegal to pos possess pornography. So, Mr. Reynolds, maybe you should rethink your uh, permanent vacation destination if racism is your number one concern. And that's going to do it for this video. It was short, a short video to ring in the weekend. I hope that you all are going to have a great weekend. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more content like it, hit subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss a single video. Thank you all again so much for watching. Please come back and join me on Monday for a new report. Until then, have a great evening, have a fantastic weekend, and God bless.